All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Clint Novak, and we are taking a tour of the uh, track site here at King's Dominion for the Gig 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 Coaster. It's a Gig Gig Coaster of love. Uh, of course, uh, some of the pieces we already saw. There's the uh, what looks like to be the crown of the lift. Lots of double spine track in front of it. There's another piece. Uh, large piece that ha actually that's the only lift so far that has supports connected to it out of all the lift pieces and I know you can't see behind the lift pieces here but there's a big huge support red support over there I know you can't see it but there it is and uh, here's a cement truck coming by to go back to the, uh, the site to do some pouring All right, there's uh, definitely some cool pieces out here I wanted to point out. One is uh, this piece, what looks to be upside down because of where the support connects are for it. See? But it's definitely track. Um, I would say that's coming out of the station, going up the, the first hill, somewhat similar to Millennium Force. I bet you that's going to be a cable lift. Sorry it's so shaky, but I'm, I'm filming from so far away, I'm trying to even it out there a little bit. Very unique piece there. And uh, also this piece right there. Now these two lift hill pieces obviously have a curve in it, probably for uh, helping the uh, top of the lift out a little bit. But look at this. I bet you that is the first drop. We don't see any more of the, uh, the chain and it goes into the double spine. No more chain, double spine. This one doesn't have uh, chain or lift either, does it? I can't tell from here. Nope, the one behind it does. That one's behind it, this one is it. So neither one of those two have, uh, have a cable on it. Interesting. Lots and lots and lots of track appearing here at uh, the Dominion. I'm so excited. All right, uh, this is uh, going to be uh, this update. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I got some footage from last week that I didn't air. We're going to uh, go ahead and check out uh, some of the footage from the other side of this lot with the other pieces over there. And, uh, and then we'll uh, get back up into the Eiffel Tower from there and we'll check out progress as to what's going on. So let's go check out last week. Let's go to the film. All right, this actually has me very excited. I'm gonna try to get over the fence here for this one, but it's kind of hard to do so. But uh, if you look off right here, you can see the angle in which the lift hill is going to be going up. Oh, you're going to have to forgive me. I'm falling all over the place. Losing my balance. I'm on my dippy toes here. But you can see on that section, that is the first lift hill track I've seen that actually has supports that are on it there. Not only that, but look at this next piece. No track whatsoever. It just looks like a big, huge support. Massively huge support. Wow! The shipping container's open. What could it be inside? You see any trains or anything? All right, the last part of the update today is uh, happening here down at uh, King's Fest, going on at King's Dominion uh, this Thursday through the weekend. And that's what all what's going on in the uh, amphitheater. In fact, we can uh, walk around the corner here. Right now, it's not open yet. It doesn't open till four. But if we walk around the corner here, you can see that they have everything set up and ready to go. They were actually just doing a sound check and they just stopped doing the sound check. Definitely going to be a good time. All right, what's going on, KD Fanside fans? We are finally on the top of the Eiffel Tower. That is King's Dominion right there, leaving the track area. I believe they're out inspecting the new track that has arrived. And uh, here's an overview. You can see lots and lots of track now has arrived, starting the third row of track. That's a lot of track. Lots and lots. Fun stuff is going on over here. 
at the uh, construction site, look at all the footers. Footers, footers everywhere. Big circle, so obviously that has to be some type of turnaround. I thought it was going to be into the station, but evidently not. Footers down here. Footers back there. They're actually making the footers back there right now. Nothing over here yet. And uh, all the cranes and stuff are back behind Rebel Yell over there. So uh, I guess they hopefully will be working on stuff over there. Lots of good stuff going on. And that does it for your uh, update. I'm not going to be uh, heading down to Anaconda today since we've got so much of the other stuff in there. Running out of time. But uh, just to let everybody know, this weekend is Joy Fest here at King's Dominion. So starting this Thursday, they'll have uh, live music and stuff going on in the uh, amphitheater, just like King's Fest, except more, I believe, gospel uh, type of uh, music. You'll find it right there in the amphitheater. That starts uh, this weekend right here at King's Dominion. We will talk to you guys Monday, Monday, Monday. Just walked in the park, special report. Hi, how are you? Hi. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Summer sale on all Nickelodeon Scooby Doo products, 50% off. Uh oh. Can anybody say Snoopy? All right, we'll go to the top of the Eiffel Tower now. All right, uh, back at the track. I know I said I was uh, done, but uh, I discovered this and thought I have to share it with you guys. Look at uh, these pieces of track. This piece of track right there, you can see, I'm guessing what's going to be a cable lift, letting the train go and going underneath the track. See, you can see where the, the catch car would still be there, but no longer attached to the top. Thought that was very interesting. Somewhere around the crown of the lift, because you can tell it's a curved lift piece. And uh, there's some small what looks like supports but also we want to walk over here this is going to be a little bit of a walk so you'll have to bear with me the reason why we're walking is there's one more unique piece uh, at the beginning of the video if you remember I showed you the unique uh, double spine part of the lift hill and I'm trying to get over the fence here uh, it breaks away from the lift hill portion into the double spine. I'm on my tippy toes, so sorry if I'm waving all over the place. Well here, the catch car is still way underneath the coaster, and it actually continues in the red part. Let's see if I can get a better angle. I know, I'm sorry. Wasting time. You know what, we're gonna do a cool merge to when I'm actually over there. Ready? Merge! Wow, and wasn't that cool? We mixed right over here. So you could see, again, from the side, you can see the catch car continues underneath that piece there. And that's where it breaks off into the double spine right there. Very interesting stuff. So three uh, crowning, four crowning pieces of the lift hill right there. And if you look at the next piece here, you can't see any of it. So I'm guessing that is uh, on its way down the hill because there's no catch car stuff at all underneath this one. Cool stuff. All right, that does it. I will uh, talk to you guys soon. See ya!